Tutorials. Um, hope you've had a nice day. Hope you've made lots of money. Hope you've spent lots of money. Hope you've had plenty of good food. And um, lots of people have recommended on Facebook um, when I've had them up. What do we need? To, what do you want to learn how to cook? Um, and today it's lamb shanks. So um, it's comfort food. We have four pieces of lamb shanks. They used to be quite cheap. They're fairly pricey these days. Five bucks per per shank. But you know, at least one of these feeds one person. So it's going to be lamb shank done Mediterranean style. So it's going to be done on a kumara and watercress mash with a Mediterranean um, fusion spinach and a nice uh, jus. So let's start with uh, sealing off. Fill it up with a little bit of oil, quite a bit actually, um, because when we seal it off, we need to seal it off properly. And um, and unfortunately, we need a bit of oil to do that. I have here uh, a flour mix. I've seasoned it a bit, so I've actually added some pepper some salt and some smoked paprika just to give it a little bit more flavor um, you can leave it plain you can use, even use use gluten-free flour if you want whatever rocks your boat but feel free to you know experiment but all we're gonna do is just coat it base first and we're just gonna seal off the shank and the reason we seal off the shank is so it retains all the flavor inside it doesn't seep out into um, the liquid that we are going to be um, uh, braising it. Nasty, and nasty girl got the nasty curve. Has to be down because this has a swerve. So illegal, girl, dangerous goods. I said bad, meaning bad, but bad, meaning good, good. It's the way that you look in that dress. It got me going a little insane. Today I'm using Montana, a New Zealand brand. <laughs> there you go. Um, Shiraz. Shiraz is a red wine. Red wine goes well with red meat. some kumara um, and portioning it to trick into hot boiling salted water which is going to turn into our kumara mash We're just using cream and a bit of butter. We're gonna reduce it a bit. This is gonna be for um, our kumara. 
right now what we're gonna do peeps is uh mash our kuma so put into a different bowl as you see the cream here is nice nice and reduced so it's quite thick but let, let's get this started first yeah i always use a whisk eh? i've got a masher but i just prefer to use a whisk and so i can whip it as well Thirty seconds, and all we're gonna do now is get rid of the excess water. Oh, sponge is quite expensive at the moment, so take it easy. But you know, all we do is add a bit of butter to that, and we're good to go. And that's done. Once we peel this. Is um, portion it and get ready to go. Now we're ready to plate, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you haven't been too hungry at home waiting for this. This does take a bit of time. If you get the prep right, then you can always heat it at the end of the day. So um, my um, Kumara mash was made about an hour ago. So I've just glad wrapped it, whacked it um, back in the oven when it's time to serve. A couple minutes on high, boom, ready to go. So this is what we're gonna do. Kumara mash on. Boom, in the middle. Again, you know, you can do whatever depending on the plate. Practice your little. Oops, I think that's enough. Perfect. There you go. And all I'm going to do is grab my spinach, which has been seasoned, a little bit of butter. Can't go wrong with a little bit of fat, you know. And then grab our, our shank. And just place that in the middle like that, like so. Boom, look at that. Not bad, huh? Then, you grab three bits. I'll go for three. Three bits of beetroot. Woof, game changer. Fitter. Park that around. It's the game changer right there. And a couple of olives. Up to you how you do that. And what I'm going to do, I've got some fig reduction. You can use balsamic and reduce it a bit, or just whatever. But I just have a little bit of drizzle. Uh, I just I have a little bit of drizzle, but I just dribble, drizzle a little bit of this over my um, beetroot just to give it a bit of sweetness and twang. So it's got that sweet and sour f uh, feel. This goes perfect. So a bit of balsamic vinegar, reduced, a bit of brown sugar if you want. Um, or if you can find this fig stuff um, or vincotto goes real well beautiful stuff but again not essential it's just if you want to be flashy and all I'm going to do is put my dew which I've passed or my gravy over my meat just to give it a nice glaze and coat all that beautiful Hold the plate up. I'm a sauce person, so I like putting the sauce on there. Don't be shy. And that, that's the phone beeping. This means I'm popular. And then I'm going to finish it, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of garnish, a bit of green. Why not? If you got it, why not use it? Splash that around. And there you have it. Taste the legal version of a Mediterranean style kiwi infused lamb shank. Bon appetit. Touch your ball.